Scene number four, pass A, take one. For the last several years, there's been real life drama behind the scenes of Guiding Light. As game shows, reality shows, and cable TV siphoned off viewers, there was, as the soap writers might say, a desperate battle for survival. The show had been on, uh, on the chopping block for 15 years. Everyone in town comes here at one time or another. Ellen Wheeler is the executive producer. And we said, we're going to have to do the show for 35% less money. And we're already doing it for less than anyone else, so what can we, you know, what can we do? Action! They started shooting with cheaper equipment, not much fancier than home movie cameras. They shot more scenes out of the studio in Peapack, New Jersey. Offices were made over to double as sets, including the executive producer's office, which is seen on the air as a seedy motel room. And action. On the day we were there, they were shooting a sexy scene. He's a jewel thief, she's his lawyer, and the plot calls for a surprise ending. <laughs> But Guiding Light was fighting powerful forces. Its audience wasn't just shrinking, it was wrinkling. In TV, youth sells, largely because youth buys, which is why advertisers look for younger viewers, very few of whom were watching Guiding Light. Maybe its audience didn't survive, and, and I mean that in the literal sense, that this was an audience that at 72 years of age, if the, you, know, you can imagine that the one way you age out of watching a show like that is to pass on. For more than five years, um, Sheridan Caluria was in charge of daytime programming for NBC, which canceled a soap last year. He watched the decline of a lot of soap operas play out before his very eyes. When you were in charge of daytime, when did you start noticing that you were in trouble? Every Thursday morning. Um, Thursday morning is when the national ratings come out. You could really see it week after week after week. Malignant, malignant, malignant. Soaps have tried to remain relevant by trying to become topical. They introduce stories about breast cancer. Please leave me alone. No, I'm not going to leave you alone. And rape, no, among other subjects once considered taboo. Leave me alone. There are very few taboos left to be exploited from a dramatic standpoint because there are so many outlets chasing after that. Whether it's daytime talk, whether it's news programming, whether it's the reality shows which bring some of these to life. We've gotten to the point where there are too few taboos for television? <laughs> I, I think, never thought we'd reach that point as I, a civilization. I think we've gotten to the point where, where Truth really is stranger than fiction. And people who used to watch soaps, primarily women, have other things to do now, like work. They are not in front of the television. Not as much as they used to be, which may not be an entirely bad thing. <laughs> but Audrey Thaler still has time for her story. Like hundreds of other fans, she was at the Paley Center for Media in New York last month when a farewell party of sorts was held for the dearly departing program. These are the true believers, fans to the end. When you watch it, you get connected to the uh, characters, and you really care about them and their lives. We need quiet for the slate, please. This is the last slate. When they finished shooting the final scenes last month. And we're out. I love you all. You've given me the best years of my life. My husband wouldn't agree, but you have. <laughs> for once, there were at least as many tears off camera as on. I live well. Some of the actors have already moved on. Robert Newman, who played Josh, is in an off-Broadway musical. He plays a therapist who hears everyone's problems and has a secret love that is tormenting him. A perfect role for a now former soap star. Now, what we've done on the soap opera, we've done some goofy storylines on the soap, but really the best of what we do really very much reflects uh, what people experience in their own relationships, whether it's with their spouses or whether it's with their um, siblings, you know, and I think it's important that we sit and we sort of witness that and we laugh with them and we cry with them and we heal with them and, and all those things happen like sort of once removed. That's not, that, that won't be there. You know, you're not going to get that from a game show. <laughs> you're just not. After this Friday, when the show ends, it will in fact be replaced by a game show. And Audrey Thaler will have an extra free hour every weekday. What will you do when this ends? 
Well, I won't get involved in another soap opera because I don't have another 72 years to spare. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, 